Bald eagles, totem poles, and Alaska's first lighthouse. Those are the bucket list items our road trip and crew are hoping to tick off and catch a can. Sean McGuire has a story from out on the water with lighthouse excursions. We're coming on board the Lighthouse Endeavour at Ward Cove. You want to watch your step as you climb aboard. Motoring down the Tongass Narrows in search of bald eagles, and we're soon rewarded, watching them dry off. Water doesn't beat off their feathers like a duck. Sitting around and chatting to each other. You hear that high-pitched whistle? And perching on buoys. That could take off in flight at any moment. Have your cameras ready. Before taking flight and soaring away. Whoa, there it goes. Look at that. That's a seven-foot wingspan. Captain Jeff Carlson is the owner of Lighthouse Excursions. Yet another eagle. A business he bought in 2018 that allows him to live his dream. My fantasy was heading out to the lighthouse on a beautiful day, sipping my cup of coffee. And here I am doing it, and it feels great. Every day I get to do it, and it doesn't get old. He's a Ketchikan boy born and bred. We'll be surrounded by little islands kind of dotting the waterway. Carlson narrates a two-hour tour that sees us all wearing face masks, which is a federal requirement. We soon come to one of his favorite spots, Totem Bight Historical State Park. In the summer months, they use it as a, as a smokehouse. A recreation of a Tlinga clan house with totem poles used to tell stories and honor great leaders. And literally store the ashes of the dead inside the pole itself. Carlson finds the region's native history humbling. I take pride in being a third generation Alaskan. The fact that the native Alaskans have been here for 10,000 years at least is extraordinary. We sail on. The mist hides some playful friends. And harbor seals. All decked out on an island that houses the first lighthouse built in Alaska, but it looks kind of flat and stumpy. It was built this way for good reason. You see, here in the winter months, it's not uncommon for us to see winds of up to 100 miles an hour, and it happens pretty regularly. Up to some sightseeing, it's time for a snack, and we have some smoked salmon here from Wrangell. We have some kelp pickles that are made locally, some chugiak chocolate, and some coffee that's roasted from a local Ketchikan company, and it all looks very delicious. Heading back, we speak to Shelley Hill, a friend of Carlson's on board for a third trip. She recounts another sailing that had a very special attraction. We saw so many whales, it stopped the boat. Like, they were bubble feeding. It was insane. We weren't quite so lucky, but we still feel very fortunate. Iconic Alaska wildlife, native history, and the sights and sounds of southeast from the water. Pulling into port, it's easy to see why Carlson says it's so amazing to share the wonders of his home. When you get on board a, a ship or a boat where people have never even seen a bald eagle, perhaps, let alone a humpback whale, and you see one and you point it out and they go wild. And it's, it's beautiful because it keeps it fresh for me too. And as I look around at my home that I grew up in that used to be so normal and I'm like, this is actually extraordinary. Road tripping from Ketchikan, Sean McGuire, Alaska's News Source.